Yo, yo, yo. Let's see who's awake. Let's see who's awake at this time right now. I mean, who, go, who goes to bed at 9.50? Come on, bro. What up, man? All right, let's see. Abracabra, what up, dude? Elevate Music, Kyrie, Cameron, Tavio, Anomaly, Pesh, Bobby, Caster Troy, what's up, man? Joy, Ethan, K Metz, what's up? Aldo, Trader in the Trees, Lee, what's up, man? Brendan, what up? Chris, what's up, man? Chris Brown, Nick. Oh, 10.50 here. Yeah, for, man, most of you are Eastern time, right? I try and do everything, you know, by Eastern time. Majority of people, majority of, of retail traders are going to be located, uh, you know, up in that Eastern. I'm close, though. I'm close to that Eastern Central. Yo, Jose, Nick. Hector, what's up, man? Uh, I'm just going to go over the the true price of AMC, the actual chart of AMC, and not the bullshit chart that we are getting. Um, not cool, man, that we are getting this crappy-looking chart that is not reflecting the true price of AMC. So this is the indicator that I went ahead and... Uh, uh, created here so there is going to be uh, an adjustment here using this indicator it goes at it, it will add AMC and ape together uh, and it will show the actual price of AMC okay as if both were combined so I've been using this to look at the charts because I, I you know I'm very big on pattern analysis chart analysis and and cycles and stuff and I believe that the, the chart cannot be fucked with um, so I don't agree with I don't agree with what happened down here and this is exactly why this indicator is available now for everybody who's you know trying to look at the charts um, it's just supposed to be displayed right so if you want access to this it's free you can go ahead and go on my trading view here trading with emotions on trading view and then go under scripts and you will be able to access that again it's available to everybody okay uh, and then I'm gonna talk about also the setup All right, videos here now are, are basically live I go live for about 40 minutes and I just talk about the setup that way you guys can chill with me man while I do it and I just kinda go ahead and talk about it man get right to it um, so, a couple of uh, different things here. So, we're actually entering the blue pattern, okay? And most of you, most of you uh, know how the cycle works here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just pull that up. We know we're in the cycle. And we're already in the blue pattern. We're entering the blue pattern. So, we know that this, this portion right here of the blue pattern is um, there's a lot of volatility so right here in the middle and the blue pattern itself it, it's highly controlled by the institutions but there are two sections here that have volatility and these are the only two after this um, and before that you do get just a bit of of, of just stagnant uh, price action because I believe this is where the institutions take the opportunity to really suppress the price action um, if they're trying to create you know whatever it is whatever pattern it is that they're trying to to push out there right with the cycle so we are uh coming near this section here and i'm gonna pull up for this example here i'm gonna show you the amc chart right so this is amc's chart under this one is amc plus ape so i'm gonna go ahead and just um show you amc's here so you can see it a little better these candles are a little messed up um the color and stuff. I don't like. I don't like the color, man. Mess with the color here. I have to change it up a little bit. I'm gonna update the indicator. By the way, it's gonna have volume now, so you can actually add both the volume, uh, and it'll display it under here. So uh, 
keep keep updated man for that version two here it'll come out soon all right let's minimize amc plus eight and let's go on the 30 minute because the 30 minute is very important to track here guys blue pattern right here and we are currently tracking inverse all right so we're gonna mirror this guy you guys already know how this works all right you can stretch the chart the height of the chart that's all we're doing just to better see what's going on here um, in the height of it and you can already see how things are inverse like it, it's <laughs> this is fucking hilarious dude and telling people man that there is a fucking cycle in the market okay look at that puzzle fucking puzzle all right so now that we know we're, we're like this is confirmed we're in the blue pattern remember cycles here are not something you can can't mess around with the time so um, it does happen on a cyclical level these are all lined up exactly two months apart from each other and this is why we had the poi here why everything started to go up um, and you can see how it's following everything according to the setup this uh, this cycle is very accurate um, some cycles aren't going to be as accurate because again there are uh, moments here in the market specifically where things are just trading sideways and there's not a lot of um there's there you know there's some noise in the cycle sometimes that does affect the way things are displayed um but the something I've noticed here with the cycle is that it's typically, and, and this is something I, th th there's been a um, repetition here of, of this happening here. Is there's typically one cycle where things kind of trade sideways and there's not much going on. You actually have to take the chart and stretch it out to be able to see everything. Um, and that hap it's like one off, one on, one off, one on, right here. And um, with most of these, though, you can see the green portion and the red portion are the ones that decide the overall direction that AMC is going to take, the macro direction. And then right in between is where you're just going to get just sideways price action here. So let's go back to this right here. I'm getting get carried away here with the, with the cycle. But um, we are in the blue pattern, so we're coming up to this um, to this section here. And, and I've talked about how for every cycle, typically there is volatility right here and right here. Um, so this does indicate here in the short term that there will be a reversal. There w uh, and whether, we, you know, whether it's a positive one, um, reversal, I guess you can say here on the macro, we would get something like this. And if we get the inverse effect, obviously, we're going to come down and this would be um well, that would be identical but right now we're following the the blue pattern inverse so this would mean we would actually go up all right and the level that i am tracking this is where i'm going to bring back the amc plus ape up here okay. and guys the only reason why i am not only the colors too but you can't take a bars pattern from an indicator kind of sucks I'm trying to figure out how to do that. I don't think there's a way, but I will find a way, okay? I want to fucking find a way, man. Um, because, well, hold up a sec. Well, technically we can. Hold up. We can fucking do it, man. Let's do this. AMC plus ape. Now, this is, and somebody was telling me this, why can't you just look at AMC plus APE? Because AMC plus APE, guys, all it's doing, it's adding both together, and you're actually getting a, a shittier chart by adding AMC plus APE. Um, so the reason why the indicator that I have here is, is very efficient is because it ignores the values, the previous values that were displayed on APE. APE has values from like 2007, and that is why this chart looks all wonky and, and shitty it's because there's values right here from 2007 for whatever fucking reason and it's like you know trading the $20 range and then boom ape is born and then there's new values so trading view doesn't know how to adjust that if you type in amc plus ape so that that's why this indicator is is um is nice because you know in the code it's written to ignore that part of the that part you know that nasty part back there so 
Um, okay, so let's go back here because all I'm going to do is... Go on a 30 minute. And I'm going to take this pattern right here. So I can do that too. Okay. This is AMC plus 8. And I can take this entire thing. Come back here. Just paste it. Now we got this guy right here, man. And it should be... This should be AMC plus 8 right here. Or... Hold up, I'm doing this is this is dumb, dude. Why am I doing that? I have AMC plus safe right here. There we go. Right here, it's displayed. There we go. Bingo. Perfect, perfect. Alright, you get the point though. Let's go back here again. We're in the blue pattern. There's volatility coming. Be prepared. Okay, that's one thing. Cycle is done. Talked about the cycle. So let's go ahead and talk about everything else. And let's remove this ugly chart here. That's not AMC. It's just AMC. This is AMC plus eight. Let's go on the two hour chart. And now let's talk about this quad witching curve that we have been talking about for a really fucking long time. Um, we've been talking about this it's way back here. Um, and for those of you that are not familiar with this, all it is is an S-curve. I repeat myself every single time because there's new of you in here, and I feel like it's shitty if I don't do that. So these right here are uh, sections here on quad witching dates. S-curve is finally, finally curling back up, and you can see that displayed here, okay? We're coming right up here to this range. Now, this is kind of crazy because the, the fractals that I've been looking at and the patterns that I've been looking at that line up for this next POI here early October, okay, do come down to bounce one more time in this box. And guys, I created this box here, um, you know, over three months ago. So watch this. Where you at? Where you at? Here we go. Polyline. Boom. Look at that shit. Look at that shit, bro. Okay, watch. Boom, boom, boom. Alright, so we come up. We start coming up right here. And this is, this is from that fractal that I was talking about, okay? So the first level that I was tracking, because this is exactly what GameStop did. Let me see if I have that pattern. Yeah, remember this on Twitter? Okay, so this is basically what the entire market's about to do. If all tracks, right? And we have a positive POI here that is not inverse, because we know how that, that stuff like that is common for there to be inverse POIs. Okay, but let's pull up these... Right here, volume, nope. Squeeze candidates. There it is, Jimmy, right there. Unchanged in time. Here we go. And then, dude, you know what's scary about this? This fucking chart right here is almost identical on GME's chart. Like, dude, almost identical. So, and, and you guys know, you guys know how fractals work, man. Fractals are extremely accurate when you get them spot on. Um, and they are following um, and hitting the correct levels of resistance and support. You, you have very similar ratios here that are being hit. Okay, so here's GME. There's a couple of other ones I was tracking. Uh, Bitcoin's another one. It's known for this, this uh, sort of crown pattern. Yeah. Before coming all the way back down. Negative POI here. So inverse POI, but here we have the positive one. So watch this. Here's Bitcoin. Right there. And let's go ahead and take away this real quick so you guys can see what's going on. That's Bitcoin. Hitting the levels, just like we talked about. And the setup is that crown setup. Okay? So these are projectors, too. Back to back. It's a, a series of projectors. Uh, and then just one final one. Now, the final projector here is going to look very similar to the one that GME had. And that's exactly what I was talking about here. From the start, it was 
looking at AMC to curl back up and have a this sort of like broadening wedge setup. Okay. And then have, you know, what the Y copians like to call the SOS phase. Where you just go like this. And then you rip, dude, because you can't sustain that fucking volume anymore. So you just start ripping. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. So it's man, that's just that's just what it is, dude. That is just what it is. Quad witching. All right, so let's go ahead and minimize this real quick. Quad witching is done. Another one that we can also talk about this POI and, and why things are finally starting to uh, set up here to bounce. Well, we're, we're currently at support. And then we also have this resistance level that's crossed. So this is um, very important to talk about because uh, you guys know that whenever there is a cross at resistance, a lot of the times the price will come back down to bounce one last time. And that's exactly what's happening with the chart right now. Unchanged here. We are we cross resistance. That's very bullish. But now what we want to do is we want to cross or we, we want to touch it one more time before making that bounce back up. That's exactly what we're getting here. So, um, you know, and this is why I'm saying, guys, this this right here doesn't matter. This doesn't fucking matter. The, the, like, the, like I think this is like hardcore. Like if you're if you're gonna manipulate, you know, certain data that is presented, uh, you know, like cost to borrow, failure to delivers, um, you know, manipulate certain things like that. And you can kind of, kind of sugarcoat because it's, you know, people don't pay too much, too much attention. But dude, this is a fucking chart, man. Like this is, this is like universal right here. Like everybody's looking at the same thing. Like it's, I think it's a little different. I know it is still data. Yes. But it's the display is fucked up like and it man it, it's just pisses piss me off i don't know these guys gotta get on that shit get on it dude okay let's answer some questions david what's up man hola papi my cousin right there okay 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 so yeah and and then uh, you know I, I really don't have a comment on the whole you know AMC a thing guys it's you know we we have I mean just looking at this indicator guys things are behaving the way they are um meant to behave because you know i i strongly believe here that everything is driven through an algorithm and a cycle that can't be fucked with until there is a break in volume until somebody fucking breaks the volume and you you just you the algorithm can't control it anymore until then this whole a plus you know um, this whole discussion about Ape and AMC is not really relevant to me. Um, because again, I don't, I just don't see it. I don't see, uh, a, a winning side. I, I just think it's, it's all noise at the end of the day, you know, and that's, that's their goal at the end of the day, man, these institutions, they're trying to divide. So fuck that. It's pointless. Just, we're going to wait until the next POI. And once we start going up again, and they, you know, and they can't control it anymore, then they're fucked. That is, that is what it comes down to. It doesn't come down to what are, you know, let's try and figure out what is going to happen with Ape, or trying to figure out what's going to happen with AMC. Like, 
dude, this is going to follow. And this is um, one of the things that, you know, the, the white coffeeans also believe here is that there is, you know, that composite man, right? That's controlling the prize, right? That's controlling the cycle. So, you know, there's just really, really no comment on that. Um, yeah, so not financial advice, okay? But I've already talked about how the non-standard options, la uh, they lack demand. There's very little demand for those because, uh, especially right now, they just added the weekly contracts to AMC. So those, the standard options are back. Um, and it's very likely after the 26th year, because I don't believe they're going to add any for the 26th. They're starting the next expiration, which is the 2nd, and then the 9th, and then the 16th. Um, those will be standard now, and there's also going to be the non-standard option chain. But just, just look at it this way. Okay, they also just opened contracts for Ape, right? So why, are peop why would people buy... AMC non-standard contracts if right I mean go look at the price right now what the ask and the bid are some some look like this dude it's they're like wonky they, they look like this like they'll have like an ask for like two bucks and then the bid is like five cents and there's no buyers there there's no volume and some of the brokers you can't even buy or uh, I think most of them you can't buy them you can just sell the the options that you have or exercise them so yeah i'm not personally i'm not getting into that i'm if i'm getting contracts for amc i'm getting the, the standard ones Um, I know right now there's still liquidity for them. There's still liquidity for the options. And, and I talked about this. I talked about that there's going to be very little liquidity, but there's still liquidity. You can still close them. But unfortunately, the, you know, as soon as the standard ones are going to, uh, you know, come back and are available, those are going to, those are going to take over. Uh, they're going to take over because, you know, again, retail is not looking to buy contracts that don't have the, the same kind of volatility and non-standard contracts are known for that. Uh, Sundar, the run that I'm tracking here is for the, for the end of end of September is going to be the next POI here. So um, and let's pull up this little polyline here. This is best case scenario, guys, okay? Like we're talking like things have to play, like if they stop tracking, you know, if we start coming back down here, then this is going to be a teller for me that we're not playing out a, uh, a normal POI and this is an inverse one. This would not be good, okay? I don't wanna see this because at this point we're extending things way, way, way too long. Um, this, the reason why this is here is because, and we, we, we've already played out, these major POIs guys have all played out. The March and the end of July both played out here, um, according to the cycle. And now we have this major one here, end of September. So based on this, what I want to see is I want to see something like this, because if we don't have building pressure coming up to this, um, next POI, it's going to be very unlikely, um, that we would start coming up i mean th the only other way i would see this um would be like what happened back here where the price just came down very quickly and then we just popped right but again stuff like this is not that common when the price is trading where where it is now which technically it is double digits if you add a plus amc but um you know, say, let's say, I was talking about this on the Discord with the other day, but somebody talked about, you know, what if Ape starts running 
and AMC is just kind of falling right because in, in a way they do kind of trade against each other if you're trying to like you know make the price equal a certain uh, you know if you're trying to hedge for the $20 position and, and one goes up to 15 uh, you know one would think like oh well the other one's gonna go down to five right so that they both equal 20 sort of but th there's more to it there's more to it for sure that's just that that's just the the hedge fund perspective right that's not what we think or anything but that's normally how it would go with something like this um, and and treat it but obviously that's not gonna be the case that's not gonna be the case but if we kind of look at things that way climbing back up then um, you know the, it's gonna be very important that they both equate to something like this and 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 we start hitting these levels here because if we don't and and this thing starts coming back down the only way I would see a scenario like this is if Ape starts running and AMC goes to like you know a dollar or something and I I mean guys come on that's that just sounds crazy um, I, I personally just don't see that happening okay but if it does I mean that's that'd be that'd be something else man that'd be something else I mean nothing nothing's crazy all right uh, anything could happen in the market I mean we've 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 had it happen before on very low levels so it's still a possibility but it it sounds kind of um it sounds pretty like a pretty hard thing to to happen here so but we'll see man we'll see i'm hoping for this i'm hoping for this what up trevor how you doing man Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Robert, real quick. The standard options are the ones that won't have any sort of, um, like, the non-standard ones are the ones that are going to have, like, 100 next to it. Um, and they'll have, like, it'll say ape something and then 100. Those are going to be the non-standard. The ones that are standard are the ones that don't have anything they just have a date so right now we have the monthlies were the ones that came out first september 16th is the closest monthly that we have available that's not that is a standard option and the rest are coming out tomorrow Uh, let's see, Reyna asking for the next short turn reversal, what price range would we return to? So it, it's a series of, of events, but this is kind of what I have just based on the, the FIB levels on the way up, the FIB targets to hit based on the volume cycle, and then also based on fractal analysis. This is kind of the, what I have leading up to what this POI is. Um, so it would be hitting these, uh, these would be like larger ranges, right? Like, you know, I would have like a massive block here of whenever we do come up, if we start hitting this range, it would be like right here. And then the next turn, see, th this is just exactly what AM what GameStop did prior to the run because, you know, and let's, let's go ahead and just take this off here for a second and let's put GME, right? GME uh, started right back down here very similar setup and you can see that it slowly climbed and all it was doing every time was shaking people off back and forth how many times did it do it one two three four five five different times before it just blew up and this is where it got the trigger because and and this would have been you know considered um your little this is probably a massive sos here uh, just broadening broadening uh, wedge here building up before the pop and then here we had that sort of algorithm break it was like this and then boom algorithm breaks again goes to 500 
back down to 100 in one single day. I mean, that is that is a broken algorithm right there. That is a broken algorithm. And what do you do when you break the algorithm? You take the buy button away. That's exactly what you do because um, the system's corrupt. So let's see how many times we have shaken people off here. There's one, two, three, four, Five. Look at that. Look at that shit. Okay, let's bring back the little thing that I made. Where is it? Right there. Boom. Five different times, too. On the way down. From the start here. And both are the same time frame, too. We're talking the exact same time frame. So, remember this... This... We're on the right track. Things are playing out just like they're intended to. But as soon as this stops tracking, I'm going to um, I'm going to say that because I'm not just gonna I'm gonna I'm not just gonna sit here and pretend like everything's you know okay and tracking. Like, dude, again, the only way this would stop tracking and still play out on the POI is if we have a setup like we did back here where it gets shorted to the ground and then we just pop that would be the only other way um, but just based on this again I'm I am looking for for pressure I'm looking for pressure Yeah, for those of you that are just coming in, I know I said this a little bit earlier, but if you are um, interested in charting AMC and APE together, this is the true price of AMC here, okay? The the price that we're not seeing right now, guys, is what they're displaying. So this is what the brokers are displaying right now, and they're not adjusting it. So what I did was um, I have this indicator that I made. It's free. Go on trading with emotions on TradingView. If you have TradingView, you can access this and you can use it, okay? And it looks like this. So now what this is doing, it's returning the the right values right now. So we can see that AMC closed, AMC plus APE closed at around the 1674 area today. And that is where we have this, right? So I'm gonna be charting things like this. I'm not gonna be charting things the other way because um, it's just that's not that's not what it should be that is not what it should be Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so Trevor, you're curious just to see what the POI would look like without the chart adjustment? Yes. So let's say that we are and, and okay, so this is this is this is gonna be my thought on this, okay? And the reason why I I have a bit of a problem just understanding right now at least what how things are going to happen, right? And the reason why I'm charting AMC plus APE and not just AMC because we don't have enough information right now with uh, the current cycle on how AMC versus APE is going how they're going to behave individually. So that is not something that the cycle can just know, right? The cycle can pick up these points of interest just based on what the, what the chart is telling us right now with, with both combined, but it, it's not necessarily going to be able to spot that on right now because it's so early on, like things are just now happening. Um, there's very little data versus each one. And I mean, almost look at it this way, like the chart kind of resets right here for AMC and APE individually right because they're both doing you know one is trading at nine the other one's trading at seven like they're doing individual things um split to get so it does make it a little bit hard to to sort of see what you know which one's going to go up 
um, higher, which one's not gonna uh, not gonna go up as high. Like that's just very little information we have right now. But I'm still gonna look at look at things that way here for you, man. Just the so here's the AMC unadjusted chart, and this is just AMC. Uh, and this is just kind of, again, ignoring the fact that Ape is not part of the equation, or it, it's not, you know, here. With this setup, it, it would be, it would be a, a bit flawed just because we don't have a full reversal back up. So this is a bit of a problem here because from like a TA perspective, when things are like this, um, you kind of would look at it from like, a, you know, I have to fill the gap sort of deal. And how is that going to happen? Like, how are we going to come all the way back up here and do that? If we were to do that here, you also have to remember that this is not taking into account APE at all. So it would actually be harder for AMC to come all the way up individually, call the, come all the way up here if, if APE is, you know, trading above the $10 range or even at the $5 range. Uh, because that will naturally make it harder for AMC to be pushed up if there's another stock that shares, uh, you know, value with, with AMC. Um, so it, it, it does make it a little bit harder. The, the setup here, I mean, I would have to, I would just have to look at it based on that to see what sort of setup we would get here. But I, I can come up with something and, and you know, but... I want to make, I, I just want to give it a couple of days for AMC and Ape to kind of do their own thing. Right now, the, the one thing I can tell you is, let's go on the minute chart. I did set up something here where it was able to pick up and tell me like the negative. Um, I have something called advanced comparison. And it basically, you shift and you pick a time frame here and it will spit out the percentages that um in the way that things are tracking so it will show s some values that track similarly together and then it'll show values that don't so it's basically negative beta it's beta what it is and that again we've have very little data right now as time goes by and things start playing out we'll have a little bit more information on how these two trade against each other and you know how they kind of feed each other feed on each other to create what is the true price which which is displayed on the indicator right so i'll get back to you on that man i'll get back to you on that just because right now we still is still you know still very fresh but this is what we got guys this is the chart man Yeah, and I did see that too. I mean, I I've seen it on multiple brokers, but yeah, they didn't even post the ape options yet. They were like available for a little bit and then they were gone. Uh so that might have been, you know, we'll find out tomorrow because they're still on Weeble. They're still um they're not on Robinhood right now. They're still on Weeble and I believe they're also still on TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim. Um So I use I use Thinkorswim, so that's where I get most of my information. But I did see that it was, they removed it on Robinhood. So we'll see. We'll see tomorrow. We'll see tomorrow. That's when everything should adjust um, kind of back to normal, really, because we're going to get the standard options for AMC. Uh, all of them, not just not just the uh, the monthlies. The weeklies are coming back. The, month, the monthlies are already available to trade, the standard ones. But the weeklies are the ones that um, we've been kind of waiting for here, so soon as those come back maybe everything will be uh, adjusted here back to normal yeah they all have the layout just they don't have the bit in the ass so we'll find out tomorrow what what that's all about
Yeah, everything's still on track, man. Everything's still on track, you know. Just a bit of, you know, I know I know that with the whole ape thing, there's kind of some confusion with, you know, the adjustments and, and all this stuff. So I get that. I get that. But it, it's it's just important to just 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 keep track man and stay you know st stay the course is what they say right like it's true like people there's no need to to be um upset or anything like there's not everything is is perfectly okay in my opinion right now as far as uh the only thing i had a problem with guys was the chart because again th this is something you you i've never really understood this sort of thing typically stuff like this gets gets adjusted um or else it's just it just looks wrong and the only problem i had and whatever the reasons are man whatever but the only problem i had was that they just spit out different data on the whole sign world thing ba bankruptcy and kind of faulted that on the drop and then now there's a big gap so you know that was my thing i'm just Okay, it is what it is, but now what do we have? We have we have a fucking indicator right here. We're getting the price, man. We are getting this shit one way or another. All right. That's why you know the cool thing about TradingView is that you can you can fuck with like if you're not gonna get your data, we can make the data. All right, we make the data. A lot of questions, man, with very little answer on their part because, I mean, and I, dude, I imagine what their inbox looks like, too. Like, so many, so many upset people about everything, and I, I, I get it. I understand. Um, you know, and that's just the way the system is. You know, the system is, is the way it is, man. They're going to push out all this shit. That's just not true, and... They'll just kind of ignore it, and I don't know, man. It, it's really fucked. But what, dude? You know, it. There's two things you can do. You, you can really, really. There's two things you can do. You can play the system, which is what you know what we're trying to do here. Because if we crack the cycle, if we understand how the cycle works, how AMC works, how to find these points of interest that are happening, and we play the system, we understand the system, we know their game. I think you're winning at that point because, uh, you know, unless something is not playing out, okay, then you try and figure out why it's not doing it. But playing the game here is the most important part. The 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 part that I don't really want to get into and, and you know, and do is, like, the, the thing about trying to figure out when they're going to do something or, or why they're going to do something because the reality is it that's that just seems... I mean, it seems impossible at, at, at that point. The only way that's going to work is if... And, and this is what I'm waiting for, guys. I know it'll happen at one point, but it'll happen when, when the squeeze happens. Because once the squeeze happens, it'll just... Everything will go down. Like, I mean, these institutions, the people behind it, corrupt. There will be documentaries on, on shit like this. I mean, dude, it's all going to go down there. But but right now, I mean, we just have to fucking understand the game here, play the game, and then once this thing goes down, dude, it's game over, all right? Once it goes down, it's fucking game over. Uh, the T plus 90 thing. Uh, I mean, those are... Remember, guys. Remember this, okay? Anything that has to do with data that that has... I, I mean, I, 
I really do believe this, and I've talked. I talked about this for you know June third. Um, I've talked about this for most most catalysts. Anything that has a date attached to it is typically just set to not play out that way. Um, failure to delivers are one of the things that you know for the longest time it, I've ignored completely. Also, cost to borrow stuff like that. Anything like that, bro. No dates um, because. Anything they push out that that involves dates, just it, it's completely mess, man. It's it's just not part. I mean, they they want you to think that oh yo, come on, it's the anniversary. We're gonna squeeze. No, that's just my thoughts though. All right, on that because I've seen it happen over and over and over again here on AMC. Now the cycle is not something that's pushed out, and they're not gonna push out the cycle because this is something that. You know, n nobody, like, this isn't something that they're pushing out in the media. Like, oh, yo, they, they uh, you know, they're, they're tracking a cycle and they know when things are going up. They know when things are coming down. They're not going to push that out. If anything, they're going to suppress that. I'm sure, I'm sure they will suppress that. I'm sure, I'm sure they would, they would fucking suppress it. Yeah, and, and until yeah, until the squeeze happens, man. Until it happens, then they'll, then they'll. Um, I mean, just think about it, guys. You guys will be part of history, man. That's like, that's dope. That's fucking dope, dude. This guy's not greedy. He just wants a trillion. Oof, a trillion, man. That ain't greedy. <laughs> this guy. Yeah, he, you got a point, man. Infinite risk. It it really is infinite risk on the um for shorts. I mean, the the thing about you know longs is like all you're risking is it going down to zero. But yeah, infinite risk, man. When you short. Because the price can go anywhere. Now, obviously, I'm not the I'm not the person here that's going to scream a million or anything like that. Obviously, like that's not at all what I believe. But I do see AMC reaching a a very drastic level once all of this does get triggered and once it does go down. I I'm not again. I'm not one of those those people that will tell you this is going to a million. I do not believe that at all. Um, but I do. I do see it reaching crazy levels once this does go down. I I'm, I'm cannot give you a price target because it's impossible. Anybody who, who tells you they can tell you a price, it, they're lying to you. So the only, the only thing that they would be able to tell you, and, and I've said this over and over and over again, are fibs because fibs are levels to track if there is resistance at some point and we that's how the $77 level was was um taken here and how every other level has has worked this is how um some technicals do work and and I do believe that fibs do now I've said this before the squeeze will happen when the cycle breaks the cycle has to completely break there has to it has to shut down and there has to be no algorithm being able to suppress the the price action so that's where you get a squeeze if it doesn't break, then the algorithm's going to try and, and and adjust things based on you know technicals and stuff like that 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 benefit them, right? Not technicals that one would think like, oh, we're gonna hit this because I also don't believe that technicals play out according to what the majority wants. I think it's under their agenda. But if we do come and hit the cycle, if we break the cycle, the algorithm's not gonna be able to tell you where it's gonna go. So. Um, no one's going to be able to tell you. If it does cycle again, you can look at fibs, and everybody's going to tell you this, but majority of people are saying that fib level-wise, if there is another cycle, that the um, this range right here would be a level to track, like a 300, 260, um, there's a 152. Like, these are all fibs. 
but this is why I'm not pushing this out because I can't tell you that. I, I, there, it's anybody who tells you they know where it's going to go next it is price targets are are very hard to to um to predict here. The the one thing that the cycle here is very accurate at doing is picking up zones, and that is time zones, so dates. Okay, and all it's doing is telling us the dates when something is likely to have volatility and that is where I create based on technicals based on the option chain based on sector rotations based on the market sentiment everything like that then I create whether I believe the setup is bullish or bearish at that point and and it's a volatility zone that you're entering so that's where you kind of understand if the price is likely to go up or down um, that's all the cycle is doing price targets are different price targets are completely different But yes, you know what, the, the, the thing that most people know, and this is why I appreciate the community, is that obviously the majority of people aren't going to be like, yo, we're going we're gonna to hit a million. No, but that's, that's the fun in it, bro. This isn't a fundamental play, okay? This is, this is fantasy land right here. So you got to think big or go home, okay? It, it, it feeds on to this nice, you know, fantasy and and it's good for the stock honestly it's good for the fucking stock if you if you keep that bullish sentiment like that most people know that this is not going to reach those levels i mean you would have to be kind of a little uh you know just hardcore for that not i'm not i'm not gonna say impossible i'm just saying you got to be a little hardcore however i like the fantasy man and i think that really feeds on and it works tremendously well with the stock um so it, it's like being a child man uh, you just keep, yeah it's like being a child man it's like christmas like christmas like yo santa you know maybe he's like not real but what if he was real and then it just like kind of makes you feel like oh shit like maybe he's real you know bro that's what i'm saying Come on, man. Get on that shit. Oh, yeah. It's hella, hella, hella fantasy. Ooh. I don't know. Is he real? Have you seen him before? Have you seen Santa? Well. No, I mean, see, that's what I'm saying. The government would step in. I mean, at some point, guys, it doesn't fucking matter what this... I mean, we've seen this happen before, I'm telling you. Uh, I think the 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 possible the possibility of a of a massive squeeze is is um, something that 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 could happen, right? But you have to think about it this way: like with the things that happened, the events that have happened here on AMC and and GameStop, you know, they're gonna do everything in their power to protect the financial system here and. It doesn't matter if it goes against what it is. I'm sure that they know what is going on in the market right now and how many people are furious about this. So they understand that this has to, like, it has to happen almost because uh, people don't, like, they, they can't just let shit like this, um, you know, just pack it up and, and say bye-bye, right? No, like, this, this has to happen uh, in some form of way and when it does happen it'll almost be like a i told you so sort of deal in my opinion i think that once these all these stock squeeze it'll be one of those just major major events like oh shit it, it happened and then it'll be over but but obviously man like this you know like the possibility of this thing going you know beyond the 
like like over 100k and stuff like that i mean that's just just really think about think about that for a second like who would let who in the world would let it go that that high like no i mean if it started to squeeze and it went above like levels like above 500 or even like going to the thousands and stuff like that i would be like okay that's that's very re more realistic than something like in the 100k and, and shit like that i'm like dude no but again it's the fantasy part man it's the fantasy part <laughs> that just feeds onto this sort of like group thing group think positive group think right is what it is that's why i'm saying like dude fundamentals don't like like when people bring fundamentals up i'm like dude this is this is not the play man it's not the fucking play There you go, yeah. Always you gotta set the bar as high as you can, man. Nah, I'm just just fucking around. I uh, yeah. Yeah, those if you're just coming in and, and you hear me screaming like a hundred K floor and shit like that, please rewind the video, okay, Don? I don't want, I want you taking that the wrong wrong way and putting Alright. Okay, guys, um, that will be it for today's video. Um, wanted to make it, I mean, this one's going to be a little bit longer. It's an hour long, but I want, I want people that are not able to access this video to at least be able to uh, see it, understand. Um, I was really bringing up this indicator here for you guys. If you do want to use it again, this is free. Anybody can access this. Go on TradingView, type in on indicator, just type in AMC plus APE. It's right here, okay? and click on it leave a comment like it you know share it do whatever you want to do with it and you will be able to access this and it will reflect the true price of ape and amc together all right without this massive nasty gap that's in the middle here that sucks okay look at that we're, we're respecting this level of support amc plus ape real price all right all righty guys have a good night. I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye. Have fun with the indicator. All right. Bye-bye.